What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Parallel Quest number 7 and unlock the move Shine Shot. Now if you played Xenoverse 1 and you played online PvP, you might remember this move from people that used to just drift around and shoot this move out and a couple others. It was very annoying to deal with in that game. This game doesn't work quite the same anymore. Stick around to the end, I'm going to be showing you how the move works in this one and, and telling you the difference between Xenoverse 2 and Xenoverse 1 as far as this move's concerned. So we're going to head on over to the Parallel Quest Desk and get the mission going. And like I said, we're going to get Shine Shot from this. There's going to be another... There's going to be a Super Soul that you can unlock. Uh, the ones in these lower Parallel Quests, usually they're just straight crap. They they have no value at all. There is, there's no point in even putting them on. Uh, focus on getting the moves in these ones. Now right off the bat, we've got Raditz and a Cyberman. I always take out the weakest one first. Uh, I find it just to be more helpful. They're, they're usually the ones that are real annoying. Nothing in here is real hard. As you can see, we've almost taken Raditz out. You should have no problem with this mission at all. With him beat, it's going to open up a portal. And it's going to take us to the next area with our next set of enemies. Now, this time we've got Nappa and he's got... Two of the Cybermen with him. Two of the different kinds. I don't think any of them take the regular ones. Like I said in the other one, we're just going to take them out real quick. That way we can just focus on the stronger guy. Which really, still at this point, not even that strong. We're, we're very early in these parallel quests. You know, and now that you've got those other enemies killed off, this is the time to practice your combos. If you feel like you're not that good with your combos, this is the time to practice it. You've only got one enemy to fight. Unfortunately, he does die out real quick, and you might notice there that I have two gates open right now. The other one is most likely, I didn't go back and check, most likely just some time patrollers to fight to try and get some Dragon Balls. I wasn't interested, I just wanted to get the move unlocked, so I didn't go for it. In this section, we've got Vegeta, and he's got three different types of the Cybermen with him. Uh, we're going to take them out real quick, and as you can see, we are using our Key Blast cancels to avoid damage because as soon as we take one out something else is coming up to hit us and we want to make sure we avoid that damage uh, we're going to take Vegeta out pretty easily we're at like level 40 right now at this point we're going to be taking him out pretty easily now at this point we've gotten the finish uh, still haven't seen a skill drop anywhere and now we're going to fight all three of the main ones again no Cybermen this time we're just going to be fighting Raditz, Nappa and Vegeta you know, if you find this section hard, where you've got three of the, the main bad guys to fight, the Cybermen are really nothing, make sure you bring some people with you. I don't have a problem with it, and as you can see, they've all only got about half health. It doesn't bother me doing that. If you do need some extra help, bring somebody with you, bring some healing items, uh, but you really shouldn't need it. And we're going to finish this off with pretty much Final Blow, and I love that move. It does a lot of damage. Look into that move too. I can, I believe you can buy that one from the skill shop. So if you do need some strike moves, buy that move because it's very, very good. So we have beaten it. We've got Shine Shot. And now I'm going to show you how to use it. And like I said, it's, it's not what it was in Xenoverse 1, which is probably a good thing. In Xenoverse 1, you had a lot of people drifting around. And it was pretty fast. If you look at it here, it's kind of slow. It's kind of slow, and right there, I was trying to drift back with it and throw it, and it made me turn around and throw it. So they changed it up big time for this game. And honestly, I, I feel like this move doesn't have a lot of value. I don't know who would use it and in what scenario you would use it. Maybe as just a, a way to maybe, maybe evade somebody, because it really is a lot slower than it used to be. It doesn't seem that fast anymore. Other than that, maybe you just like the way the move looks, maybe you want to use it. I really don't see any reason to use it. You're not going to throw it in a combo like I tried doing there. It's just, there's no reason. So, if you really like the move, sure, go for it, use it. If you're trying to get the move because you liked it in Xenoverse 1, I can tell you right now, it is not going to be the same. Uh, not one I would recommend at all. Uh, I have no use for this move. Even trying to do it to either side is a little bit of a pain. I found it turning around a lot of the time, and I didn't like that. It was too easy to turn around, even though I was circling him. 
it was still wanting to make me turn around when I threw it out, so I'm not a fan of it at all. Now, if you know of a way to use this move that makes it very useful, let me know down in the comments, because I don't know what else I could try to do with this move to make it useful. To me, it's there's nothing for me here. Uh, maybe you have a way to make it useful. I don't. That's going to wrap this video up. If you were looking for the move, I hope I helped you to get it. The game is RNG, so you never know if you're going to get the drop or not. And if you did like the content you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.